this is about uh, viewers who are in their retirement phase and henceforth uh, so far they've been relying on the income generated from their fixed uh, deposits uh, but now they find themselves in a spot of bother and they want to know how do they do how, how do they deal with the problem of falling interest rates uh, that is what uh, prasad just said that you know uh, these bond funds are able to generate little more return and uh, <clears throat> they have been able to provide that higher alpha over a period of time but i have a slightly different take on this most investors once they retire they become completely risk averse it will be important for investors to be willing to take some risk invest in fixed income funds to the extent that you need to derive income so you know as you let me just give you a real example as you mean somebody is going to retire and he is going to get 50 lakh rupees and of that 50 lakh rupees his income requirement is only going to be 25000 rupees a month which is about 3 lakh rupees a year which is which can be derived from a smaller capital so he should invest in fixed income only to the extent that it can fulfill his need rest of the money should definitely find its way into equity because the problem of these investors is not that you know they will not be able to have enough return or enough enough income the real problem will be that whatever be this you know you know lower inflation over a period of time they will become poor because the same capital will remain constant if he is consuming all the return generated from it so there should be a component of his portfolio which should find its way into growth capital growth, growth asset and that should be able to replenish because five years from now he should be able to put some more money into fixed income out of appreciation of those equity assets uh, and uh, that should be able to support a need for higher income in future so it requires little bit of planning investors will have to get prepared for this and this is a good time to prepare because next 2 3 years as prasad was saying that fixed income funds will will prove to be little more rewarding you will be able to derive little higher return use that as an opportunity and let your growth assets grow to, to support your capital requirement absolutely you, so you agree to this? No, absolutely i agree and in fact i would like to i had to and build on the points which you just mentioned that uh, by taking a little bit of you know more calculated risk actually it's you know it pays off in the mutual fund space so from fixed income perspective or even from you know equity perspective it's been the risk worth taking in fact other way i would like to uh, i would like to uh, take point to your investors and emphasize that if you have been just you know fixed in, fixed deposit investors for say 5 10 year period of a time then that itself is a big risk while you may have been really happy saying that you know there is no volatility but look at the substantial poor returns that have been that you have been able to get just by investing your money in fixed deposit had you taken some bit risk of investing in you know maybe fixed income funds or say equity funds the extra delta that you would have got over fixed deposit rates would have been significantly higher to you know to make you able to beat inflation so sure. uh, that was the point i wanted to emphasize that you know just being in deposit itself yeah, is so actually risky investors have to prepare for you know little bit of change in their attitude because investors uh, you know globally uh, and more so in india uh, everybody is you know used to getting a predictable guaranteed return from the avenues that are available you know whether it be a ppa for asset saving certificate or post office recurring you know post office mip i think you have to assume little risk and this risk is not too much because uh, anyway you are going to invest in fixed income they operate in a narrow range they could be little volatile but they are not volatile in a manner that you lose your capital they are not like equity so you have to embrace risk in a in a measured way and that is the only way to ensure that you will be never short of reasonable income even in your retirement